Joining us, Pastor Robert Jeffress, member of the White House Faith Initiative, pastor of the First Baptist Church of Dallas, Fox Business contributor, great American, best-selling author of the new book, Praying for America, available everywhere right this moment. So be sure to get your copies. Uh, pastor, great to have you with us. And your thoughts Thank about... You. Uh, well, apparently the Biden campaign has noticed there's some religious folks in this country. And so with 96 days to go, they want to kind of pull them all together for China Joe Biden. Well, let me cut to the chase here, Lou. There's not a snowball's chance of in hell's chance of uh, Joe Biden gaining any significant evangelical vote at all. And uh, the reason is this. The only evangelicals who are going to vote for Joe Biden are those who have sold their soul to the devil and accepted the Democrats' barbaric position on abortion. I mean, it's so barbaric what Joe Biden believes in unrestricted abortion, he can't even get his own church. The Catholic Church to stomach it. They've denied him communion because of that. But let me focus on the positive, Lou. I mean, the last Pew poll showed that 82% of evangelicals are going to vote for President Trump on November 3rd. I think the number is going to be higher than that. And here's why. We know there's a whole group of evangelicals who didn't tell pollsters they were going to vote for him in 2016. They didn't want to be badgered or bullied. That's even more so this time. People People are being told that if you support President Trump, you're a racist. Nobody wants to be called that, so they're not going to admit they're voting for President Trump on November 3rd. But I'm going to make this prediction. On November 3rd, there is going to be a tsunami-sized surprise of voters turning out to support our great president, Donald Trump. You know, and I, by the way, I happen to agree with you 100%. I do think it's interesting that we've got a poll now that shows us that 77% of conservatives are afraid to express their political views and also in parentheses their support for President Trump uh, publicly. Uh, and I think that when he speaks of the silent majority, uh, that uh, it's, a, it's much more than a majority. I think it is substantial indeed. Uh, and the reason is a hostile uh, press a hostile PC culture that has grown up around the hateful, hateful rhetoric of the left. Uh, it's intimidating to many, I know. Uh, it's, it's also great that we've got uh, people with your courage uh, to, to address the issues and take on uh, everything uh, in your path uh, in the, uh, to, uh, uh, to stand up for righteousness. I want I want I, I want to share this a little note from the people who uh, believe there should be a right from religion. If we could put this up, this statement from the Freedom for Religion Foundation. Uh, those are sweet words. They just shouldn't be in that uh, title, I don't believe. Uh, the, the purpose of the Freedom from Religion Foundation is stated in its bylaws are to promote the constitutional principle of separation of state and church, and they've gone after you asking the IRS to revoke your 501c3 <laughs> status uh, for, uh, well, saying nice things about the president of the United States. <laughs> what, do you, what do you make of this? That's right. I mean, Lou, it's absolutely ridiculous. They are asking the IRS to revoke our tax exempt status because when the vice president spoke at our church last month, I said some very nice things about our president. And I said, quote, there are millions of Christians who are hoping, Mr. Vice President, that when you have finished your term in 2024, that you move down the hall and continue to build on the legacy of the greatest and most faith friendly president in history. Donald J. Trump. And Lou, if that ends, uh, lands me in prison, if that revokes our tax exempt status, so be it. But obviously, yeah. it's not going well, to. The Freedom from Religion uh, Foundation tries to intimidate smaller churches by attacking us from speaking out on politics. This is a time for every mm -hmm. pastor to speak out. The future of our nation is at stake. Yeah. You know, I, I think I. I think I'll start a foundation on, uh, we'll put it together, we'll call it a, a freedom from uh, atheistic uh, organizations who uh, <laughs> want to uh, trample those uh, who don't have the resources to stand up to them in law. Uh, oh, that, that, that's probably have to the work Democrat on the title Party a bit, but you get the idea. <laughs> I'm sorry? Yeah. 
I said, it's sorry, called Pastor. the Democrat Party, the atheist group who hate religion. <laughs> Well, uh, it is, it's a shame that people have to put up you know, with that kind of nonsense, and particularly uh, you and your congregation. Uh, you do so much good, and I know that you will keep doing it uh, at, at ever-accelerating uh, uh, levels of both speed and uh, excellence. Uh, Pastor, your thoughts right now about this country. I see some signs that maybe, maybe some people are calming down. Uh, I know this president uh, right now, he, he's under some pressure yes. uh, to meet yeah. Democrats halfway on a number of issues. I got to tell you right now, if anybody in that White House is telling this president that he's going to win Democratic votes or get Democratic favors on Capitol Hill, I want the president to know, in my opinion, they're lying to you, sir. What do you think? Real quick. The president's supporters are silent, but they are strong, and they are going to turn out on November 3rd. He's going to win, Lou. All right. Pastor Robert Jeffress, from your lips to God's ears, as always, thanks so much for being with us.